Dane, this is for you. When it comes to investing in your education at the beginning of you know your PT career, how much of your income do you recommend to reinvest into yourself and your business, especially at the start if you're not making as much? 10% minimum. Yeah. 10%. So 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 the way I look at it is like, and, and obviously that will change. Like, you know, if you're earning um, $50,000 compared to $200,000, 10% is a lot different, right? 10% at 200,000 is 20,000 compared to at 50 where it's it, it's 5,000. So 10% is just a, a nice good round figure to look at. Now, in terms of how, like if I could go back in time and do it again, I would have done it a little bit differently. So like for me, I spent the first 10 years of my career um, investing probably 25% of everything that I earned, I reinvest because people talk about investing, like the best reinvestment or the best investment is honestly an investment into yourself. So it's like, once you lock in on, I guess, what your intention for your career is, who you want to serve, you know, what whether you want to work online or in person, whether or not you want to um, earn 50,000 a year, 100,000, a million dollars, whatever it is, you need to look at, okay, well, how can I acquire the skills to match that outcome or that intention, right? So if that means that you have a intention that within five years you want to do something, my advice would be if if based on your research, if you were to do it one way and it would take you five years to do it, me, my personality is I would double that. <laughs> so I would always kind of, okay, if it's going to take me, um, if investing 10% of my income is going to take me um, five years to do something, I'm going to invest 20, 25% of my income so I can do it within three years. So like, you know, that's kind of my approach and it, it has served me well. It hasn't gone without its kind of trials and tribulations and stresses and whatnot, but like stress, pain, trauma, that builds resilience. Resilience builds growth. So I'm super grateful for it anyway. Um, but the other thing that I would have kind of changed is the first five, 10 years of my career, I invested all of my time and effort into just learning the skills of nutrition and training and coaching. So I didn't kind of like step one, it's like, sure, have it, have an amount that you're going to invest into your self-development, but then based off that amount, um, allocate maybe 70% in the first five years to becoming like better as a coach. And then the other 30% into becoming better as a business person, a human being for more a personal development side of things. Um, that aspect of things I started to invest more in over the last kind of, I'd say from about the age of 33. Um, and, and that was after, you know, like 12, 13 years of just literally learning nutrition, training and strength and conditioning. So I think I, I would have a more blended approach. The typical rule of thumb is like years one to five, do 70% into coaching, 30% into self-development. Years six to 10, um, do 50% into coaching, 50% into self-development. And years 10 plus, it should be seven, it goes the other way, 70% into self-personal development and 30% into coaching. Because there is a law of diminishing returns or a ceiling on the amount of skills that you can acquire in nutrition and training. Yeah. Right? So, so there actually is a, a bit of a ceiling there. Like there's only so many times you can recite the research and do all that. And then in saying that, like some of the top earning coaches that I know in the world, like they don't have PhDs, but they just know how to translate the data into a digestible way and communicate that with their client and audience to optimize compliance, which gets results, et cetera. So I think um, more balancing out your investment into becoming a better human being, right? Like uh, leveling up as a human. And then obviously, you know, leveling up as a coach, blending those two things together that's going to achieve a, a better outcome for you long term.